Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing well. In this video, I'm gonna be playing around with this brand new RX 578 gigabyte. And this is a specifically XFX version. Now, I bought this card specifically to test out the AMD mem tweak. I haven't got around to it until now because Claymore just added the AMD mem tweak to their tool. So you guys all know the infamous Claymore miner, you know, for Ethereum. He just released the version 14 beta and he says here, for Windows only, added ability to apply optimized memory timing straps on the fly without flashing the, the BIOS. Up to 20% speed up compared to stock BIOS. If you have an RX card and the stock BIOS, this is what you don't need to, you don't need to BIOS mod. Uh, currently only Polaris cards are supported, other cards will be added later. So, this 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 card here, it has. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna BIOS mod it or anything. I'm just gonna. I'm just going to use the Claymore miner, and change the memory strap that way. So let's just unbox the card here, and here it is. And there it is, a brand new RX 570. I'm gonna take my Radeon 7 out for now. Uh, this this whole rig, I'm actually gonna move the whole frame, and then I'm gonna put the RX 570 into this test bench rig. I'm gonna move that there, update the drivers, update everything, download the version 14. And I'll see you guys there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got the rig here, brand new Windows formatted. Got the GPU in with the latest RX 570 driver from AMD. As you can see. With GPU-Z here, it shows I got GDDR5 with Hynix memory, specifically. So, we're, we are not going to be BIOS modding this card. We're going to keep it as is, stock, because that's what this AMD mem tweak is supposed to do. It's supposed to change the memory timings without needing to BIOS mod or anything like that. You still have to change your core clocks and memory clocks, as well as the power settings, in Global Wattman or Afterburner, but Global Wattman is preferred. And I'm gonna show you guys all of that, and I'll make sure to timestamp everything so you guys can see that below. This will probably be a pretty long video. So, let's get started. We are gonna to go to Claymore's website here, uh, the, well, on bitcointalk.org, and you can click on the mega download. He has the link there, I'll go here, I've already downloaded it, but you guys just have to go ahead and download it. And as you guys can see here, I usually save it in my downloads folder. I've already went ahead and renamed the folder because sometimes the miner will not run because of the uh, the name is a bit too long. It's something to do with Windows and uh, file structures being way too long. Uh, but enough about that. Let's go and get a base hash rate on this RX 570. Uh, oh yeah, I have to take note of the idle wattage. So the idle wattage of the system was about, I think, 40, 35 to 50 watts, let's just say, idle system wattage. Okay. All right, let's see what we get on this stock RX 578 gigabyte. 21.9, okay, 21.9 mega hash. I forgot to mention that I've already enabled compute mode, so let's let's open that up here. Uh, yeah, so Radeon settings, you go to gaming, uh, global settings, and you can see that GPU workload. When you guys first install the, install the driver, it will say graphics. So you, have, you guys have to make sure you change that to compute mode. If not, you can also change it in Claymore by pressing the letter Y on your keyboard, it'll say uh, well, I already have it enabled, but it says for me, all AMD cards use compute mode already. But if you don't have compute mode enabled, you can just press Y and it'll enable it, enable it in Claymore. A little trick there. Okay, so 22 mega hash, 22 mega hash stock BIOS uh, hash rate. RX 578, 8 gigabyte XFX with Hynix memory. All right, guys, so 
Now, we're going to try and do the strap. So let me, let me explain here what the memory strap is going to be doing. So with Claymore, he basically he implemented the Elio VP's AMD memory tweak here. Uh, it looks like it looks like this. Uh, there was an, a Linux version in this initially, and but now he's got a Windows GUI version, which uh, a lot of people have been trying to play with. And specifically, a good friend and a good buddy of mine, Nefarious Fool, has been doing a lot of testing on this. So he'll be. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this memory tweak specifically, he can help you. Now, if you guys wanted to do the Claymore version, which we're going to try now. There is a README that he has, uh, Claymore. He has it in, once you download the Claymore Miner 14, you can see here he's got a, uh, let's go to it here, dash strap. Okay, so to, to make the memory, to add the memory timings, you have to add in dash strap. Uh, I just lost it. I just had it. Here it is. Okay. Uh, you know what? We're going to read it on the website because it's a lot, it would be a lot bigger. So here it is right here and I'll be sure to timestamp it so I'm not wasting this, this time for you guys. And it's right here. Okay. So I'm going to read through this whole dash strap thing. So this is what we're going to add to our, to our batch file. Uh, when you go start, this is, we're going to add dash strap here and I believe we're gonna actually, we're gonna add one there and another thing uh, to mention is that we have to run this as administrator so I'm gonna show you guys if you guys saved it and you guys tried to run this as is it will say please run as administrator so I'll let you I'll let you see oh what do you know it doesn't need to okay then it doesn't need to run as administrator uh, let's just see what happens guys I'm gonna see okay updating memory timings please wait memory update <laughs> updating memory times finished okay guys look at that so I haven't changed anything I haven't changed the core clocks or memory timings so all I did was add dash strap one and you guys can see the mega hash jumped up to about 24, 23, 23 to 24 mega hash. Yeah, so that's that's what it is for now. Now we are going to, I'm just gonna write that in actually. Uh, 23 to 24 mega hash stock BIOS with dash strap one. Okay, now guys, what I wanna do is I'm gonna add I'm gonna change the core clocks and memory timing so let's go through that uh, I was gonna read this whole thing but I'm gonna let you guys read that I'll have it linked down below um, maybe I'll do some explaining later but I just want to show you guys the uh, changing the memory timing without having to BIOS mod okay so you're in global Wattman and you want to change your core and uh, millivolts so here we are it says 1285 for my XFX here I'm just gonna do let's say 1200 core and I believe 900 millivolt is good enough uh, so we keep that there let's go down now we want to do the fan we're gonna add the fan setting here I just I'll just bump it up to like 60 I just like that area so 60% for me, depending on what your heat and everything, guys, you guys can put it higher if you'd like. Uh, power limit, just stay the same. Now you want to change the frequency for your memory and the millivolts there. So um, it says 1250 for the memory, which is super low. So we're going to put um, 2150. Let's go 2150 memory and... Uh, 875 millivolts let's just go there hit apply and let's close that as you guys can see now the fan is changing so the fan the fan speed is applied uh, let's go ahead and minimize that so now let's go ahead and run the strap now let's see what hash rate we get
Okay, you guys can see GPU zero strap POL eight H one is applied successfully. So that's a memory strap that um, Claymore has implemented. Updating memory timings, please wait a few seconds. Updating memory timings finished. And boom, look at that. 30 mega hash, guys. And I think it froze. Yeah, so I think we have to run this as administrator. So this is a good test, guys. So I'm going to close this. And we're going to see if we're going to run it as administrator here. And you see, you guys see that it closed, right? You run it as administrator and it doesn't work. So we are going to add your, we're going to add this whole string here in the file manager. Uh, it needs to know where to run as administrator. So you add the folder here and you add, add another dash so that it opens up as administrator through this string here uh, going to your folder. Hit save, close, and now we can run as administrator. Let's see what happens. Idle wattage is about 40, 40 watts. POL 8 H1 applied successfully. Creating the DAG. Updating memory timings. Please wait. There we go. So about 30 mega hash, 29 mega hash. And we're getting about 216, 218 watts. So I believe that is a bit high. I believe the card is probably running about 160 watts. Now we can change that through Global Wattman. I think I did not um, change that correctly. So we're going to close that. We're going to close this. Go back to the Global Wattman and let's change up the, uh, let's see, the millivolts here. I want to make sure I did that correctly. Ah, it didn't, it didn't save. Uh, 1150 so I'm just gonna put that to 900 and enter ah that's right okay I didn't save the millivolts for the core so let's hit apply and we can close the global want man now alright guys so let's do it again I, 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 I mixed up there I that was my fault okay all right, so this should run much better and lower wattage. Let's let's see here. Applying the memory timing, it applied successfully. Doing the DAG file. Now it's updating the memory timings. Please wait a few seconds. Updating memory timings finished. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now you guys can see the wattage is much better now, 160 watts, total system. So this is with the motherboard, the power supply, riser, CPU, RAM, everything, motherboard. And we're getting 30.6 mega hash in Windows. So let's write that in. This is the 30.6 mega hash. Uh, this is with the mem strap. Oh yeah, I guess stock BIOS guys and with the dash strap one and we changed the uh, core mem and power settings in global watt man all right guys so that's it that's that's how you use the new claymore 14 and yeah it's pretty easy i showed you guys just a few things the main thing if you have to run as administrator make sure you add this part Wherever your folder is, maybe it's easier if you guys just copied the Claymore uh, folder to your C drive so that you don't have to add this whole string. So it would just be C colon slash Claymore 14 slash ETH DCR minor 64.exe and then uh, change your pools and your address and worker if there is, if there you guys have one and make sure you add the strap one. Now, 
you can change um, you can change a few things now now that we got it going I'm just gonna keep it going see if we can get a get a, a, a solid uh, accepted share you can see here you can add if you have multiple cards you just have to add a dash okay so you just have to add a dash zero or one dash uh, sorry comma comma one comma two comma one comma one comma one so you can have strap one on all six cards so example I wish I, I wish I had six cards here to show you guys. So this would be six cards like that. Now Claymore also mentioned that you can change the memory clock as well. If you go at 2200, at 2100, depending on what you'd like. So depending on what card, you can just go at 2200, me 2200 hertz, megahertz. And you can also... Uh, change the strap, the specific strap. So you can see here he has pull 8 S01. So pull means Polaris and 8 means 8 gigabyte. So if it's either 4 gigabyte, you put 4 there. And then the S means for Samsung memory. He has the S there. So you can change that to Hynix or Alpida for E or Micron for M. And you can see here mine was set at, oh, and my card stopped. So look at that guys, it has stopped. So we just have to play around with it. I think I have to restart the computer. Sometimes the strap might not uh, carry uh, correctly. He did mention a few things where uh, you may have to restart. So, but anyway, it is in beta and it might not work for everybody. And as you can see, as you guys can see, it didn't really work out for me correctly. But uh, yeah, still in beta. Obviously, this is the first version that Claymore has implemented. And yeah, pretty exciting. Good for people that have, you know, you're just going to not BIOS mod. A lot of people are scared of BIOS modding. So, and a lot of newbies, a lot of new people that are getting into GPU mining are going to be using Windows anyway. So this would be a good tool for a lot of those that want to mine Ethereum and you can get the hash rate that you actually uh, want out of your card. So yeah, take that as you will guys. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Oh, there you go. I got an accepted share. Uh, I, I'm, I probably have to uh, give my, I have to give a bit more power. It looks like my mega hash is my power limits, uh, millivolts might have to be bumped up. But yeah, play around with the global watt man, guys. That's, that's your main key. This is your main tool to change around the core and the millivolts. Uh, looks like it reset for me. So, and the memory timing and the millivolts for the uh, memory timing as well. And make sure you change your fan speed because you don't want your card to burn up. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. I appreciate all of you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.